with Miracle 2 and your horse (laughs) and all the things that are happening in your life. God bless you, and thank you so much for being on the show. I'm going to bring my guest on right now. Clayton, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Hi, how are you? I'm just doing excitingly beautiful today. I know you are, and so are a lot of people using Miracle 2. <laughs> I heard that testimony about the horse and the lady telling about that. Just amazing. God loves the horses. He wants everything to be healed and well. And I can't think of a better time in history than right now that God could reveal something like this that would just take care of everything. Tell me a little bit about what's happening with the Miracle 2. Are you getting tons of orders now? Yes, God's just blessing us bountifully. In fact, uh, we just got through pouring a a 6,000 square foot warehouse last Tuesday because we just run out of room. I mean, God's created us a beautiful problem. So that's just one of three buildings that we'll we'll be getting started here in the next month. So everything's just going great. We've had to add on shippers and more people and everything, but uh, there are people wanting to work, so that's what it's all about, helping people and giving the glory to God. Let's talk about the products now, okay? Okay. Now, let's start. Which one do you want to start with? Well, you can just start with the first thing we had, what the formulation was, the regular soap. And, you know, it's still cleaning anything that you want to clean that water won't hurt. And, you know, it's amazing. You can jump in, clean an oven, jump in the bathtub, take your bath, take your shower, shampoo your hair. Your hair will stop falling out. I'm a witness to that. Years ago, I had to go buy something every month to eat the hair out of the drain lines. And since 1989, I haven't seen a dozen hair. I know one comes out every now and then, but not in just bunches to where they stop the drain up. So I have really noticed that. And I just tell people, if you'll get on it, if it's in your family to kind of start losing your hair early. I believe the early you started on this, you would not lose your hair. So it'd be a wise thing to get get started on that regular soap, or unless you had dry scalp and hair, then you could use the moisturizing soap. And it'll just totally solve your problem. Then the next product, after you take your uh, either bath or shower, is to put the lotion on it, correct? If you have dry skin, and I put it on my feet, and I put it on my hands every night, that's the last thing I put on me, and it's the first thing after I get through washing of a morning, because I couldn't do without that skin moisturizer. It has has solved my cracked hand problems, and I wouldn't want to get caught without the lotion. I use it every day. Okay, now the next product. Of course, we've mentioned the moisturizing soap, then the neutralizer, then the gel. If you ever use that for aftershave lotion, holding your hair in place, women with short hair, use the gel because it contains no dangerous chemicals to get into your system. Read the instructions and the warnings on hairsprays and all of that stuff. It's hazardous to you. So... I tell people one half a drop of soap on your toothbrush, uh, either soap, it doesn't matter, put you some gel on it, brush your teeth, you will never go back to some fruity tasting toothpaste knowing that it's got a warning on it. If you think you have swallowed any of the commercial toothpaste, call the Poison Control Center. Miracle 2, gel, and a little of the soap will let you have the healthiest mouth, never an acid problem. And I just tell parents with children, you can put a little mint flavor in the gel. Your children will never have a cavity. This has been reported by thousands of parents in the last few years because acid is what eats the enamel off of the teeth. So... Uh, you have that beautiful product. It's so good for a sunblock, a sunscreen, a tanning lotion. 
for people with normal or oily skin. Now, the neutralizer is used a lot, and a lot of people with conditions, serious conditions, are using that, taking it orally, right? Yes. If you're alive, you need the neutralizer. I mean, everybody, because you're coming in contact with food every day that something needs to be neutralized in it. So that you can rub on you, you can put it in your eyes, you can put it in your ears, you can use it for a hair conditioner if you want to, you can rub it any place on your body, and it just keeps the pores open, you energize, you can just feel the energy when you put that material on you. You can take and spray it on your feet or use the gel, either one. So gargle if you think you're coming down with a sore throat, it just knocks it out. The gel, you can, you can take a half a teaspoon full of that, put in your mouth, and don't swallow it like you would swallow something, but just let it melt down your throat. And you'll just never have a cold or anything. Spray the neutralizer up your sinus cavities. It'll just keep all of that clean if you happen to have uh, sinus problems or allergies. So to cool your eyes off with contact lens or Many people's cataracts have washed off of their eyes. That's just an everyday deal now with animals and humans, cataracts being removed from their eyes. So any of those products to put in your mouth, the gel or the neutralizer, you'll just never have a gum problem. You'll have the whitest teeth anybody could ever imagine after a few days just using those products. Then if you swallow some of that foam, it's been reported by thousands of people. They're totally parasite-free. They're worm-free. They're fungus-free. And that's exciting. Okay, we have a, a caller. Dave, uh, who have we got? Yes, we have uh, Sarah in Canada listening to us on the Internet. has a question about winter rash. Thank you, David. Okay, hi, Sarah. Hi, Jeannie. Uh, actually, why I'm calling is... Uh, where I live, it gets really, really cold in the wintertime, and it seems like every winter I get the same rash, and um, my doctor can't explain it. He's, he says it's probably just because of the dry air, and, and I've tried every single product out there, and I can't find anything that works, and it's getting to the point where I don't even want to leave the house. I just want to know how effective the Miracle 2 product is, and is it safe for people with super sensitive skin? For babies any age, a lot of children, they were drinking it before they were born. It'd be the wisest thing a lady pregnant could take is the neutralizer mm -hmm. to help her child have a, a beautiful, strong immune system. It's one of the only products you see out there that's got no warnings on it. Now, there's just nothing but help and joy whenever you use the product and healing in every phase of your body and all. Sarah, I do want to say I have a friend who's using it, and she has terrible skin, and it's cleared up within four weeks. Her whole skin just cleared up. Wow. That is, that's wow. great. It's a fabulous formula, so God bless you, and keep listening. You know, we have another caller. Can I take that, please? <laughs> yes, <laughs> this is great. We have uh, calling from Escondido. This is Mike. Hi, Mike. How are you? I'm doing fine. How are you doing today? That's great. You got a question now? Yeah. First of all, I just want to say my wife and myself have been on the product now for about uh, oh 60 days, and we find it just absolutely terrific for for just multiple ailments. But my question to Clayton is that you know, especially with what's happened in uh, September 11th with the terrorist attacks and the heightened knowledge about biochemical and uh, I would say also bioagents. Have you done any testing whatsoever with the neutralizer to see if the neutralizer would have any effect on any type of biochemical or bioagent? That was one of the first things years ago. Uh, a university here locally, three chemists that was trying to uh, back structure the formula. And they come to me, one of the men did, and, and asked me if I knew it would neutralize cobra venom. Well, that didn't excite me because we, we don't have any cobra problems here in North Louisiana. So, <laughs> you know, that slid off of my mind. And then did they come to me and uh, asked me if I knew it would neutralize anthrax. Well, I'd never.